Gillette World Sport heads to Rome for a precision lesson in rugby from Italy's talismatic captain. Sergio Parise is one of the best number eights in the world and knows all about the precision required to dominate in such a technical position. For me, a special moment to captain my national team is a big responsibility. I love that you're a leader for a country and you represent your country against the best team in the world. It's great. I don't do any long speeches. Uh, I try to lead them by example, as I say every time. This is the, the way I like to, to be uh, as captain. Young players, they need a few words of you because if they look and they hear it, they captain, try to encourage him, try to give confidence before the match. This is important for, for them. Uh, you know, sometimes just one look in the change room, you, you understand everything and you, you don't need to, to do any speeches. I don't think that I'm the number eight in my jersey. I try to play rugby, play the situation. Sometimes I find myself in the position of number 10. Sometimes I find myself in the position of 15 or in the winger. And uh, I'm enjoy. I think it's, you know, after the set pieces from scrum or lineouts, they are the most important for the, for the forward, especially for number eight. After that, you are a, a rugby player. It's so important to have a good pack in front of you who go forward. And obviously, it's important to have a good uh, communication with your number nine. Uh, it's the number nine who introduce the ball in the scrum. And after that, it's important to manage well. You understand how is the scrum, you know, turning and what is the best option to take. You know, if playing with the backs, if it's picking as number eight, they're going to, you know, to attacking. From the line point of view, obviously, I'm a kind of number eight I can jump. I like to be involved as well, especially in the defensive line, trying to learn and understand the movement of the, of the other team and trying to you know, steal some balls in the lineups. Since I was young, I trained a lot my, my skills, my passes, kicking as well. And, uh, you know, uh, I think it's something I learned when I was young and I probably I have the talent when to uh, learn quickly. After the session, I like to make like, you know, 15, uh, 60 passes from the right to the left, to re left to the right, receiving uh, up and unders, kicking drop and goal. And for me, it's important to be able to do everything. I don't remember to start a game without a pain somewhere, uh, you know, it's very hard, but I like it. Even if you are a very good player, if, you, if physically, from the physical point of view, you are not ready, uh, you are not fit, uh, you, you can't do the, make the difference in the field. So I'm a kind of player I like to run everywhere, try to, you know, be every time involved in the action. So it's really important to physically to be fit. There are small uh, little details that they do in the difference, especially in the international test. You know, sometimes you lose a line out, uh, you don't uh, receive a kickoff well and you put your team under pressure. Uh, sometimes your discipline is good, not good, you're doing a penalty in your 22 and you lose a match probably for one point or three points after a, after the kick. Sometimes, uh, you know, you are really close, especially as, as Italian. Sometimes we play well, we are there, and you know, if you, we don't take the opportunity to score, we don't win matches. So that is the the difference between a good team and better team. The most important thing is the way that you approach technically when you're doing a tackle. Especially for me, I'm really tall. I'm always trying to, you know, have a good feed work when you are really close of the attacker. If you go forward with big steps, uh, it's easy for the attacker to do a step and beat you. So it's important to keep the speed, but with the feet, trying to work and be reactive and get lower to, you know, make a good impact with the shoulder and arms. Sometimes I'm doing good hit with my shoulders, but I don't close really well with the arms and against big guys. And sometimes they can receive the, the hit, but continue to go forward. There are a lot of details you make you make a good tackle, and a lot of details you can make you know a poor tackle, a negative tackle, or you definitely you miss a, a tackle.